So we're back here with our resident beer critic, our, our favorite beer writer, Adrian Tierney Jones. Adrian, Hi. thanks so much for coming okay, in to see no us problem. again today. Um, Adrian uh, has the esteem of having just written a book, A uh, Thousand and One Beers Before You Die, uh, which is which is out out now. Out now, yeah, in America as well. In America, so it's it's out now. But you you brought us um, some beers to try today. Yeah. It's summer, so you yeah. brought us something. This one's called St. Mungo, and it's from a brewery in Glasgow called West. Now they are one of these breweries that are at the forefront of what I would call the craft lager renaissance. Right. They are producing British craft lagers properly, like the Czechs or the Germans do, and more increasingly the craft brewers in America. You know, this is not quick fermentation, not very good raw materials, I have to be careful what I say. <laughs> <laughs> not a lot of branding, but it's absolutely fantastic right, in well, my let's, opinion. Let's, let's give it a try, because uh, I uh, you don't get a lot of um, British lager of, of a high quality here. You, you, You're it, getting especially more. Especially the pubs. Yeah. You're it's getting French. more of it. It's, it's coming out there. So this, look at it's, that. It's a beautiful color there. Beautiful it's the brewery owned by a German woman, who a Petra, who basically comes from Franconia, which is in Bavaria. So, you know, she's bringing a lot of tradition, a lot of history with her. They brew it to the German pure of purity law, or the Bavarian purity law, which is basically yeast, malt, hops, and water. So there's nothing else added. Nothing now, else. swirl it around. It's got a very soft nose, almost like bitter lemon. You know, very light bitterness. Bitter oh, that lemon. is delicious. That's probably the best English lager I've I've ever had. Scottish. Scottish. <laughs> Whoa. I know it's very soft and refreshing. It is. It is Scottish. We'll have to. I've got Scottish relatives. I should probably they'll, they'll kill me for that one. <laughs> Scottish lager. Yeah, it's elegant. Though. It is. It's, it is it's, beautiful. Beautiful on the palate. It's a Pilsner style, it's a German Pilsner style, but mm. I also believe that it also has elements of Bohemian Pilsner, sort mm. of pale lager beer like Pilsner Urkel in it, and there's a sort of butteriness, mm. you know, a fatness on the palate as well. I mean, it's got a dry finish, makes you want to have another swig. Yeah. By God, I will. I mean, yeah. I think it's wonderful. Ideal for a sunny day. Ish day, when it like, turns like, up. like it is. Very and nice. You can get these in Glasgow at the brewery tap, yeah. and apparently they, they've got a great bar, a bit like a Bavarian beer garden, and great food as well. And, you know, I for one hope to get up there in the next few months. Wonderful. Scottish crafted Pilsner. Um, it's really, really what more delicious. can you want on a summer's day? Really nice.